Mouse embryos grown from skin stem cells Israeli scientists have created mouse embryos exclusively from skin stem cells, without the involvement of sperm or eggs. The first synthetic mouse embryos, along with the brain and beating heart, developed thanks to an innovative bioreactor. An innovative method may in the future enable the growth of tissues and organs for transplantation. It will also allow researchers delve into development mechanisms and better understand the formation of defects congenital. In research published in the journal Cell, scientists from Weizmann Institute of Science in Israel said they found a way to self-assembly of mouse stem cells into resembling structures embryos. The researchers' feat has been hailed as a big step forward though some experts said that the result could not be fully considered as embryos. Scientists created mouse embryos using cells mother skins grown in a petri dish. An innovative method of research on the development of embryos enabled the creation of synthetic models of mouse embryos without the involvement of sperm or eggs. For the development of embryos, Researchers they used an innovative bioreactor that allowed embryos to survive much longer than in previous studies. Simulated embryos have developed an anatomy that fit reality. Scientists admitted that the similarities it could be seen at the cellular level, the actual cells were formed in right time. Team leader Jacob Hanna from the Weizmann Institute of Science he admitted that the embryo is the best machine for making organs, and their new one the method aims to imitate what it does. He also added that in the next one in order, scientists intend to do the same with human cells native. The researchers benefited from their previous research, in which they created mouse embryos using various stem cells, including embryonic stem cells that come from normal embryos and can create all body tissues. They imitated the blastocyst stage stage in embryo development consisting of a trophoblast and an embryonic node. Embryos they are used in the in vitro procedure at the blastocyst stage. However, these simulated embryos encountered the wall. Their cells were starting specialize but did not connect into organs. One obstacle was keeping such embryos at life for over a few days. Last year, Hannah and his colleagues they developed a procedure that allowed them to grow standard mouse embryos outside the mother's body for a record 11 days. A typical mouse pregnancy lasts about 20 days days. The key equipment in the new procedure is the incubator which constantly it rotates and does not allow embryos to stick to its walls. Inside incubator scientists placed a special liquid with nutrients and growth factors that were intended to simulate how ingredients were delivered nutritional to the placenta. This configuration allows the team to be precise control of growth conditions such as oxygen levels. The record of 11 days outside the mother's body was set with embryos derived from fertilized mouse eggs. To determine whether the same procedure it would allow stem cells to transform into full-fledged embryos they undertook a new experiment. They started by taking cells from the skin of mice, they then reprogrammed them back to their earliest stage, when they have the greatest potential. The stem cells were then placed in incubator. The vast majority of cells did not form anything. But about 0.5% of all cells present in the bioreactor, about 50 out of 10,000, started self-organize and then form embryo-like structures. Moreover, after 8 days about one-third the 20-day gestation period of mice was very similar to the 8.5-day gestation period natural embryos and had a beating heart, clear head, and tail outlines, segments that become skeletal muscles, developing brain, and core spinal cord and the beginnings of other organs. Scientists also measured activity genes in over 40,000 germ cells, finding all the expected type cells in the right locations. 
These embryos were described as in 95 percentages similar to normal mouse embryos both in shape internal structures as well as gene expression, which indicates that they may be functional. For unknown reasons, artificial embryos stopped an eighth day of development. Scientists hope to overcome this barrier and continue development of artificial embryos. Embryos derived from stem cells have advantage over normal mouse embryos because cells are available in more people and scientists can manipulate them more easily. The challenge will be to understand how cells the parents know what to do and how they self-organize into organs. Ours another challenge is to understand how stem cells know the what to do, how they connect into organs and find their way to the ones assigned to them places in the bud. And because our system, unlike the uterus, is transparent, it may prove useful for modeling congenital defects and implantation of human embryos emphasized Hannah. Achieving the same with human stem cells it may help avoid some of the ethical controversies associated with research on human embryos. This provides an ethical and technical alternative to the use of embryos was awarded by Nicholas Riviran from the Institute of Biotechnology Molecular Austrian Academy of Sciences. This technique can also be useful for creation personalized organs for transplantation. Researchers hope that certain on the day you will be able to collect cells from the patient's liver and use them for production of stem cells cultivation of a synthetic embryo from the desired organ and then transplant it to the patient. It will eliminate it problems associated with matching the right organ donor. Cell it will be taken from the patient, so it will be the exact same DNA. Will not you need to look for donors and there will be no problems with organ rejection added. However, not all scientists call the achievement described in cell embryos. They prefer to call them embryomic, a group of cells embryo-like. These aren't embryos, Laurent David said French stem cell scientist. However, he added that this research is very promising and may allow for further experiments to understand exactly how organs are formed. Hanna also noted that apart from organs, such embryos can also help identify new targets for medicines and potentially help find solutions to a range of problems such as lost pregnancy, infertility, endometriosis, and fetal malformations.